Hello, welcome to Random Talks and Choose the Thoughts. I'm Darian. I'm Amber. And this is Andrew. And then uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Um, but so today we're gonna start talking about tattoos because all of us have tattoos. So we'll start uh, off with the only one, the one tattoo. Uh, oh, wow. okay. This is our special guest, my girlfriend. <laughs> okay, you know what? For the one tattoo that I have, I would say it's. Uh, I don't know, like. <laughs> it, it. it out tattoos your guys' tattoo. I got a half sleeve for my first tattoo. Yeah, that's facts. <laughs> Give me that. Yeah. Well, explain the meaning so of the tattoo. What's the tattoo? Why, you it. why did you get that tattoo? Why so late in your life? <laughs> At 19 years old when you got it. And then what is it, what does it mean to you? And then I have two tattoos and then yeah. I think I have 5. Yeah, I counted them. Yeah, five. I think so. So what is your tattoo and what does it mean? <laughs> and why why so late? <laughs> so I have a Medusa tattoo. Um, I went through a pretty traumatic phase. Or not phase. Um, something traumatic when I was younger. So I got it to kind of just like represent that. Um, I got it at 19 more so. Or it was more money-wise than... <laughs> But I was also trying to, like, figure out what kind of, what I wanted as my first tattoo. And I was like, you know what? I want my first tattoo to, like, have some sort of meaning to it. So, that's why. Do you want to show them the tattoo? If you're on YouTube, you guys can see it. Facts. Here you go. So. Oh. I'll try you guys might turn just on. Hello. <laughs> and it's a Medusa tattoo. This is the tattoo. So, how do you, you like it? Flex it. You gotta flex your tricep. How do you like it? I fucking love it, honestly. Yeah. I love it. Custom made. Shout, you want to shout them out? Mm, if you're in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and you're looking to get, like, a really nice piece, um, check out Mario Gomez Tattoos on Instagram. Uh, he does really nice custom pieces, so... His office is really badass. It looks like a Grand Theft Auto loading screen. <laughs> oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, it's pretty yeah. cool. It's like it's like one of those really tall towers, and it like looks over the whole city. Like downtown. Yeah, and you're surrounded like by tall buildings. It's like in a studio. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <Okay. laughs> yeah. And then I have two tattoos. I have a trident on my forearm, and then I have an anchor on my chest. So the most meaningful one is my anchor that's on my chest. So me, my sister had gotten me a necklace of an anchor and it was so we never we would never drift apart and so uh i had that anchor and then i had to go cheer for um one of the games for a basketball game and i had put it on my bag on top of it because i was i showed up really late i was like probably like 12 minutes late and we were supposed to be there 10 minutes early so i, was, I messed up really bad and so i put it on top of my backpack and i ran to a different room so i could go warm up and stretch with my team and somebody had moved my bag and my necklace dropped between the bleachers and I could not get it. So that's why I got this anchor um, tattoo. Is so it would always be with me and to represent the fact that we'd never drift apart. And then the one on my on my forearm, that one was my first tattoo when I, I was a sophomore and I, um, I got it on Valentine's Day. And both of them are one year apart exactly, surprisingly. Unplanned, but just did. And this one represents, um, it's a trident, and tridents represent the water and stuff, and that's where uh, me and my family have always gone along on on the lake, and that's the word, one place I can clear my mind, and I can actually, like, think, and it's because it's silence underwater, and it's just the flow. <laughs> he was traumatized by the lake, but I enjoyed it very much. So, and both of these tattoos were done by my dad's cousin, at the dungeon so if you're in the santa fe area or if you're willing to make the drive the dungeon which has an actual dungeon underneath but yeah really yeah and he owns the shop but yeah those are my tattoos what about you what about all five of your tattoos i just wanted tattoos man no, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so i have a snake with the eye uh, uh it was supposed to, at first it was supposed to be a sun shining all the way through but i thought it looked kind of weird so it's just a, it's a, it's a snake with the eye it's i think it's pretty cool i'm not sure if you guys can see that <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> show it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's not a screen 
Ayo. I like patchwork tattoos, so that's why mine's a lot smaller and easier compared to your tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> also, cost is a lot less. Yeah. No. I mean, it is a custom piece. Um, this one is too, kind of. Kind of. Uh, Mine weren't. I found them on the internet. You know, it's also custom. <laughs> this one. Oh! <laughs> I got you guys. Uh, okay, you guys get hit off the screen. <laughs> uh, then I have this butterfly. I love nature and animals, so like, basically, all my tattoos kind of <laughs> have all my tattoos. I have our animals. I have a snake, a butterfly. Then I love anime, and I also love nature. <laughs> Uh, so this one's from Hunter x Hunter. It's the number eight spider tattoo. It's not filled in. I thought it looked better like this. I have a rose right here. Tell him, tell him why you got the number eight. I love the number eight. Uh, it's affinity. <laughs> 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 uh, it's affinity. No, tell him, tell him why you got that one. Tell him why you got that one. Why did I? Oh, it's because the chick that plays it has a vacuum. Uh, her power is a vacuum. She can literally suck anything. So when it <laughs> <laughs> she wants him to suck him, bro. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Do that vacuum kind of suck. No. <laughs> and then I have a rose tattoo right here. And literally, you want to show it? You know, it's behind my head. Yeah, you <laughs> uh, funny thing is, our friend Jason literally got one like a week after in the exact same spot. The exact same week, yeah. Uh, mine looks better though. <laughs> and uh, I have a cross tattoo right here. Romans one sixteen. It's all basically talking about only tattoo that I have that doesn't have to do with nature. <laughs> In fact, this is the reason why I have nature. Well, I mean, it might be if yeah. you consider nature of God. I'm not gonna start that topic with you. <laughs> uh. He's well, that's for bad. another podcast. <laughs> well, can, we can argue for another podcast. <laughs> uh, but it's Romans one sixteen talks about love, power, and basically all around that sort, and it's pretty cool because Romans one sixteen. Yeah, <laughs> Romans one sixteen. <laughs> uh, I'm a Christian. Oh, I'm agnostic. So. A lot of people don't know what this means, but agnostic basically means that, uh, well, the way I, I interpret it is that you don't know what's truly out there. Like there's people who stick to one religion or another. And, um, but I personally, I, I don't really believe in that cause I can't really say which one's right and which one's wrong. Like there could be a God, there could be gods cause there's other people who have different beliefs. Like, um, there's people from like the Vikings, right? They had, uh, the Norse mythology and Greek and, etc right and it's weird if you think about it because the Greeks and Norris have the same gods just different names and then like if you look through a lot of archaeological stuff a lot of um, things happened in the exact same era in which like people emerging out of waters and fixing civilizations from different continents across the world at the exact same time so that's why I'm personally agnostic because I don't know what's out there and I can't say which one's right and which one's wrong I, like I, who am I to say that that one's right and one's wrong? You know, so I can't really make that decision for anybody or that, myself. That reminds me of a thing saying every myth, legend, all came with the truth, like a beginning with a meaning behind it. Yeah, yeah. See, and I can't say which one's right and which one's wrong. Sasquatch is fake. <laughs> I hope Thor's real. I hope Thor's real. Oh shit! Oh, that, that would be cool. Um, and, uh, the uh, MCU or from actual mythology because actual mythology he's he's a really fat guy who's an alcoholic yeah no, I know I saw I played the game it's kind of <laughs> kind of dumb too but what do you do no, no just um like, oh just a person that can control lightning is cool like all these animes I watch like Zeus <laughs> mm. <laughs> Zeus <laughs> oh my god so um I'm well, we've... I've been baptized. I've done my first communion. Done my... Uh, what the fuck's the last one? The... 
bread and wine? No, confirmation. There you go. Um, I did all that, but <laughs> the bread and wine. Oh shit. He's <laughs> a pass of wine. But like I'm neither Catholic, Christian, or like anything. Like I do believe that I do believe in God, but um like that's about it. <laughs> so you just believe in God? Yeah, well like I don't follow the religion. Like I believe in God, like that there's God and then the devil and whatever, but like that's that's about it. So you follow the roots but you don't follow like a specific category? Mm, yeah, I guess you can put it like that. Well, how would you put it? <laughs> just, exactly the way you put it. Yeah, <laughs> exactly the way I you put it. it. <laughs> God and devil, okay? That's, like, that's yeah, all I like see. that's the, yeah, that's about it. Mm. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so what's? How so was who's your, right then? How was your New Year's? Just kidding. <laughs> how was my New Year's? Bro, honestly, we went to the casino. Was and that was pretty cool. Dude. <laughs> It was just her birthday. I'm not going to say what day it was, but it was her birthday the other day. <laughs> yeah. Her um, birthday was actually... I'm just kidding. Oh, love it. Um, no, I ended up working on my birthday. Really? They ended yeah. up scheduling you? Well, they had, like, a whole topic about that. Yeah. You just the, call in. You're like, no, I need hours. Well, I was thinking about calling in, but then I was like, no, I'll just go in. I'll well, just go I in. I hated working on my birthday, <laughs> Manager was treating me like shit. I don't mind. I was ready to quit. <laughs> I don't mind because every time I worked on my birthday, I got free food. I love food. Oh, I get free <laughs> food no matter what. But when I was working there, bro, it fucking sucked. The manager was treating me like shit until they found out that it was my birthday. And then everybody's like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. Like, I'm, that must suck to work on your birthday. I was like, yeah, it does. And you're making me fucking stay extra for no reason. You're <laughs> making it worse. You're the, re- you're the last and final reason why I want to kill myself <laughs> yeah, right like, now. Bro, you really just fucking, like, I was up here. I came to work, so it kind of brought me down, and then I talked to you, and it just brought me way <laughs> down here. You see, rock bottom's right here. I'm way below that. I got shit on a by a bird on my birthday. <laughs> it was the morning, and I got shit on by a bird. That That's funny. how you could tell it was going to be a bad day. Bro, I was just thinking about going home after that. I was like, you know what? Dude, that's sort <laughs> no, of but you know what? Bad. I heard that if, if a bird shits on you, it's good luck. Oh, I feel like it's bad luck because you have to wash it. I touched it. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I was talking to this guy in the gym. I didn't know this whole time because it was on my hat. And I was talking to this guy. And he's taller than me. And he has to look down on me. So <laughs> this guy this guy was talking to me, he's right? Like, hey, you With the bird in. shit on my fucking hat. This guy was talking to me. And <clears throat> he didn't say anything. He was just talking to he's me. He's probably all like, Whoa. And then he walks away. And then I went to go. I don't even know how I got on my thumb. But I went to go adjust my hat. And I had grabbed it. And I was like, why the fuck is my thumb wet? <laughs> and then I looked down. I, I took my hat, my hand off my hat, and I looked down at my thumb, and it was white. And I was like, why the fuck is my hand white? So I took off my hat, and it was covered in fucking bird shit. Sorry, I just <laughs> done it that morning. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it was gross. I was like, fucking A. So I had to go to the bathroom to wash it off. And I even put in the wash, and it still has a white stain. Really? Which one? What do you mean, which one? It's the only hat I wear for the gym. That one? Yeah. yeah. The one that says work hard, play hard. My dad right. gave it to me. No. <laughs> Andrew, stop looking. Come here. <laughs> but, yeah, so I had to... Uh, then my dad gave me that hat. So you got to work hard in order to play hard, right? So that's why we're here. That's why we're here for the podcast, right? We're working hard so we can play hard. But, yeah, so I was wearing that hat, and I fucking tried washing it off. I threw it in the washer and everything, and it's still there. <laughs> but, yeah. What about you? You had to work on your birthday? Yeah, I worked out my birthday a couple times. Uh, the most recent one was at Albertsons. Uh, I got flowers. I got anything in the f- store for free. Yeah. Do you are you still technically registered at Albertsons? Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Damn. god! So how do you like working with your whole family? <laughs> my frown went upside down quick. <laughs> what? My frown went upside down quick. So how do you like working with your family? I want to kill myself. That's all I gotta say. That's all you gotta say. Yeah. How do you? How did you like working with your family? Well, your brother. My brother. Um. He wants to be a guest on this podcast, by the way. That's nice. Nice. <laughs> What's it called? Um. Honestly, like, it was a bit frustrating at times. But, like, once he got the hang of it, I was like, okay, it won't be that bad. But then, 
it didn't really last long because we had to switch shifts anyway so <laughs> yeah yeah because we couldn't work together <clears throat> i don't know me personally <coughs> i had to work with my si- my sibling as well my sister shout out she was, she lent us the shit for the first two episodes but um, we'll go back there soon. Just it's cold. It's cold. Once <laughs> once spring hits, we'll be back in the shed, and we're gonna hopefully have a lot more decorations and the table and stuff. But I had to work with my sister at um, a retail store. <clears throat> if y'all know, y'all know. Um, but yeah, so uh, apparently she was she had talked to the manager and told him that I was applying, and then they interviewed me, and he's like. Dude, you're nothing like your sister. I was like, "What do you mean?" He's like, "You're you're calm, you're calm, bro." I was like, "What do you, what do you mean?" He's like, "When I interviewed your sister, bro, she was just all over the place." And I was like, "What?" And he's like, "You got the job though, by the way." Oh. And he's like, "You seem pretty cool." So after that, me and my sister we started working together, and uh, bro, we got along. Like it was, we hardly ever got along. But when we started working together, it was like the only time we actually started getting. Hanging out and getting along. But when it work, make it more stressful for you guys to even fight more? Yeah. No. We never fought. After I started working at Walmart, we never really fought. He said a retail store, and then it says the name afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, when we started working, we, we didn't argue anymore. It was weird. I was thinking of that fence job. Fence job? Yeah, that one, or that one that your sister got her. Oh, at the factory? Mm-hmm. That wasn't a fence job. They were... I don't know what they were building. Microchips or something. No, I wasn't working with her there. It was at Walmart. But we, we used to work together there. And uh, it was pretty cool. Pretty chill. She taught me how to do everything, how to get away with all kinds of stuff. <laughs> Managers told me how to get away with all kinds of stuff. That was funny with that one manager. Which one? Did you block my number? No. And then I go and call you. Bro. <laughs> no, we already, we already told them. <sighs> oh, did we? Yeah. That but... was so annoying. I <laughs> hated that guy. There was another one that was a fucking creep, too. They just hired creeps at Walmart. So we had this one manager that was terrible. For some reason, like, every time, he would just stop at, he would stand at the end of an aisle when you're working, and he'll just stand there and watch you for, like, 10, 20 minutes for the longest time. And, and then he'd walk up to you, and he'd finally start to talk to you. Like, hey, what are you doing? And, um... How's your day going? What do you do? What have you been doing all day? But this guy got caught making out with a minor in the back room. This guy was married and had kids, and he got caught making out with a minor in the back rooms on camera. That reminds me of what uh, our friend just said. What? There's a lot that changed at Trisco. Oh. Oh yeah, a lot, dude. Every time, like, or it's ghetto. Very very recent time that I had gone to visit them. I didn't even recognize it. I was like, this shit does not look like how whenever we were Supposedly, in school. a lot of teachers are now pedos. I'm pretty sure there is always pedos yeah, at the Yeah, but like now school. it's showing a lot more. Oh, it's just, good just since how they're allowed to wear whatever they want now. Yeah. That's why we had those restrictions because you prevent like yeah. stuff to happen in All school. All the teachers, yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot. Oh, that's gross. That's disgusting. And that's sad. Because, like, you know how there was where we were able to wear white? Yeah. Unless it was, like, a a spirit day or something. Yeah. But, like, there's people constantly wearing whites, girls wearing booty shorts. Yeah. And, like, even skirts that cut literally right there, right where your private part is. Yeah. And guys are just wearing muscle shirts there and stuff like that. That's horrible. Oh Bro, I remember there was a couple of people in this guy's chemistry class. And he was, I guess, he was like... Oh, um, who's wearing a skirt or who's wearing a dress? And he started looking <laughs> underneath the desks to see who was wearing a skirt and a dress. And then there's this other time. You know how some... I, I even do this, and I don't think it's weird, but, like, pretend this is my phone. Yeah. I Sometimes I put it right here. Yeah. Or yeah. on my leg, right? Because yeah. I, I feel it, and yeah. I know it's there. I guess uh, this teacher, uh, a, a girl had it right there, and the teacher's like, is that your phone? And went and grabbed it. What the fuck? That's Dude, I had a similar... So, <laughs> oh, my God. Are you okay? Oh, you got, like, hit your knee? Between their... Damn. Yeah. <laughs> <You're dead>. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're not here. He's all cool. I didn't tear my ACL. Not yet. <laughs> But what's it called? Um, I had a class, and there was this one chick that I sat next to. And that same chemistry teacher, um, she was on her phone, and he kept telling her, like, all kinds of times, like, put your phone away, put your phone away. And she put it, she put it away, like, 
in the in between her thighs and he was like no i'm gonna take your phone tries to reach and she was like what the fuck she was like you are not gonna take my fucking phone and everyone was just like what the fuck like what are you doing like you're fucking weird and all that i was like jesus well i guess there's constantly protests is there i wouldn't doubt it honestly if no things were bad they, they don't think they have enough freedom what, what the fuck yeah I felt like we had a lot of freedom. Yeah, we had enough yeah. freedom as it was. But basically, <laughs> uh, what our friend had recently told us mm. is they're protesting where they could wear whatever they want without getting in trouble. Oh and during the spring and uh, before winter time, he was telling me that they were they kept on protesting because girls wanted to wear like just sports bras or just like bra- basically how like you would at a beach or something. Yeah, yeah basically wear that at school yeah because they're already wearing booty shorts yeah. why would they they want to go on more basically yeah. what the fuck and oh my gosh that's horrible and Fabian was telling me uh <laughs> they don't give a <laughs> <laughs> uh our friend was telling us that they don't give a fuck now that they're literally having sex everywhere yeah Dude, honestly, like it's get, like remember the ROTC program that yeah. we were in? Yeah, dude, they they've literally given up. Andrew, you're the one to talk about trying to fuck everyone. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> 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 you're the fucking one to talk, bro. <laughs> Got busted. Remember? Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> like, we had we, we had to shut down the the extra, second classroom, the second ROTC we room. <laughs> Because literally every day. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you're like, everybody fucks everywhere now. You're the one to talk, Andrew, for getting caught. <laughs> Major's I, traumatized. Now. Really? <laughs> Dude, I wouldn't doubt it. He walked in on you guys. I was the only one that was able to keep up Major. <laughs> keep up with Major Miss Levels. Oh, I thought you were going to say something else, bro. Pause. <laughs> no, it's because remember when I did sit ups at one time yeah. in two minutes? I had like 160 some. I think so. It was after we doing the whole uh, test, like physical fitness test, yeah. and I had got the best smile that year. Mm-hmm. And Major's like, "All right, I want to try the sit ups with you." And I'm like, mm-hmm. "Okay, you? he's he's a big dude. Yeah. He's old. He's not gonna do that well." He's old. He's old. This guy go is right. Like he does it as I was like, "Fuck!" <laughs> oh, uh, at the end of two minutes, guess how much you got? Oh, Around one ten, one twenty. What the fuck, Jesus! And I got like 10 20 more yeah. because i started off so slow i was all just doing it regularly right and i turned to my side to see how he's doing i'm like yeah. fuck <laughs> i start going faster i love me what the fuck damn oh but back to the teacher i remember there was a couple of my friends that were in that class uh literally for their final uh because everybody has to take the same final he gave all of them the answers because nobody in his class learned anything. He didn't. Apparently, he didn't teach them nothing. They would just do nothing but experiments, and he wouldn't explain it or anything. So he would just <clears throat> he would just give them the answers. He was just like, "Okay, what I, what question are you guys on?" And he'll write it down on the board, and then he'll erase it as soon as uh, everybody gets it down. He'd erase it, and then it, next question, next question, next question, next question. Yeah, we didn't learn shit, or I didn't learn shit in that class. I ditched majority of that fucking class, and I still managed to pass with the C. And I wasn't there for any of it. I was like, how the fuck? I think it was during COVID. Mm -hmm. You and me kind of both ditched our class and we (laughs) both end up in the ROTC room a lot. Yeah. And just hang out. Yeah. And wait for him. (laughs) That's Vex, yeah. And then uh, another thing, uh, Gunny said it whenever he got mad so many times. Dude. There was just one time he was literally yelling at all of our faces and I was laughing right in front of him and I felt so bad because yeah. he was serious but never like someone's mad at me I tend like to laugh. I laugh at like every situation. Dude, yeah. I'm the same way. Like <laughs> no, I can't. So my crying. sister could be dying I'll be like dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Dumb. Ready to rap you rap? Yes. Okay. So <laughs> we all start. We all end it with a motivational quote and then a joke. Okay. But the joke is between all of us. But we all have our own motivational quotes. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so I you'll go like, last. Oh, I was like, I was not. What's your motivational that. quote? Me. You're the only one that can make this work. Same one as the first quote. <laughs> yep. Alrighty. Did you want to go or do you want me to go? No. You want me to That's go? cheating. Yeah. No, let her let I him do. It. That's not you, fair. You did it once too for a third episode. That was. For her. <laughs> huh? She... That was my joke. What? When I looked up a joke. 
And oh I yeah. The you did it too though. Remember you read them on. I was like, "Bro, that's good." And this you just game kept is going. rigged. Anyways, um, what's a good motivational quote? I got it. Oh, you want to go? You're so much stronger than your excuses. Your excuses ain't shit. You know what? <laughs> do what you gotta do, and don't come up with excuses. If it's truly worth it to you, then you're gonna do it, regardless of what you can come up with, because it matters more to you than anything. Excuses are just words. Actions are bigger than words. There don't you go. don't talk the talk, walk the walk. Okay, joke of the day, go. Be him, be her. Joke. Did you hear that the um fuck. <laughs> That's a nice <laughs> No <joke>. Did you <laughs> hear? No, fuck, what was that buddy's name? Um What was that buddy's name? I've told you the joke. The battery bunny. Excel Five. Energizer Oh Did you hear the Energizer bunny Got arrested He was charged With battery <laughs> That's terrible That's terrible That's terrible Alrighty Peace Make you sure you guys bye. Like comment Subscribe down below Alrighty Everybody at Three Two One Peace <laughs>